Uh, my name is Ezra Castillo. I am the head administrator of River City Christian School in San Antonio. We deal with students with learning struggles. My wife and I have early on in our marriage adopted a child that had learning challenges. We came across a school that they said they focus on students that, that have some challenges. It gave us, which every parent probably in this school will tell you, it gave us hope. As a parent, I want to know that all my children can be productive citizens and, and, and take care of themselves and their children. I'm Ron Simmons and I'm state representative for House District 65. Of our three children, uh, Daniel, our middle child, uh, has special needs. He's on the autism spectrum. And Lisa found this small private Christian school outside of Denton, Texas. They had a small program for special needs students. The first time we went, we, we went to a football game that Friday night. He said, I finally have a team. And you know, something like that, it's just very important to parents. My name is Melissa Bottinger, and my eldest son, Josh, is autistic. He didn't have the ability to start trying to work on himself while trying to cope with the other kids that didn't have his problems. We got directed to a really great school, and they focused specifically on helping kids with speech-language developmental disorders. I am immensely grateful for it every single day. I'm, this is something that's going to change his life. I see at least one or two kids that end up having to leave the school because their parents are just a little short. And if they got a little bit more, then they would be able to keep their kid in that environment. My name is Rebecca Hucker. I was born with a genetic condition called Turner Syndrome. It has affected me both physically and mentally. And so I really had to work hard to do well in school. My mother, who has done so much, I really couldn't have been able to succeed in school and wouldn't have been able to get the accommodations I needed without her. And when I see other stories of special needs students who can't get these accommodations, it's heartbreaking for me to see these children being left out. You have to continue trying to find what fits for your child, which is why choice is so important. What we really need is some type of funding mechanism that would allow these special needs families to take the money that would normally be allocated to their public school and they can use it for finding that private special needs institution. When I hear of bills like HB 1335 that would set up a special needs student education savings account program, I think that would bring a lot of options. The educational savings account would be a godsend because they would actually have the ability to take their child to an institution that would help their child. If parents had access to an ESA, they would be able to explore all of the options. It gives them a chance, right? It, it's, it's a lifeline of hope. To me, that's what school choice means, that every family has an opportunity to find the place that will truly meet the need of their child. Let's trust Texas parents to make the right decision.